Are you ready? Yeah. What are we ready for? After another bad binge eating session yesterday in the evening and our diet going downhill since we arrived in Germany, we decided that today we are going to change our diet drastically and start working out for at least seven days to give it a kickstart. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna start right now. Don't look so sad. You look so sad. It's gonna be great. So yes. much fun. I don't know if it'll focus, but as you can see, I have pretty bad skin this side. Not so, not as bad, but it's because once we get into Germany, we eat so many bread rolls, sugar, there's so much Kuchen, and my skin does not react well to that. So I'm hoping that this challenge will really help my skin and then my overall health and energy because we've been slacking a little bit lately. I'm curious to see, I mean, I know it'll take a while for skin. It usually takes like a few weeks to a month to heal, but maybe it'll be better and maybe I can feel the difference. All right, weighing time. Wait. Wait time. What is it? 85.85. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, and when we arrived a couple weeks ago, I was at 82. That's pretty bad. Time to change. Alright. Oh. That was yesterday's cool hen. <laughs> or the past few weeks cool hen. <laughs> All right, so during this challenge, we are going to do some type of exercise for at least 30 minutes. We're gonna try to run every day. There's a spider. Ew, spider. And in addition, we're gonna try to do some type of strength exercise. But as very well. little, not too crazy. Yeah, not too crazy. Just 30 minutes minimum a day. We decided we wanted to do at least 30 minutes of exercise per day to get our bodies moving. We figured 30 minutes each day isn't too big of a commitment and it would hopefully help us become more active throughout the day. We've become pretty sedentary since arriving in Germany and we wanted to start making healthy changes to our lifestyle. On day one, we did 10 minutes of strength exercises along with a 20 minute run. We did a total of 30 crunches, 30 sit-ups and 30 push-ups. And boy, was that enough. <laughs> Yeah. That was pretty pathetic. Yeah. That's a, just a 3k one and uh, normally that's not a big deal but we haven't, well, I haven't done anything in weeks that was not good. When you gain weight so do your boobies and it hurt. My boobs hurt. Wrong bra, she wore the wrong bra. Now the key is consistency. We have to keep it up. It's all fresh and so clean. Now we gotta go to the grocery store and get all our chicken and veggies. So after this workout and going to the supermarket, I was completely destroyed. Honestly, I was so tired. I fell asleep for a few hours. Phil made our food because he's the best. He ended up frying and baking the chicken and cooking a big pot of veggies. The veggies included broccoli, kale, black beans, carrots, onions, peppers, and of course, garlic. Topped off with some loving mustard sauce, our plates were full with a majority of vegetables and chicken breast. We had this both for lunch and dinner. We each ate a total of three chicken breasts for the day and split the entire pan of vegetables. All right, so it is day two and I am so sore. I feel pathetic. A little bit of push-ups, sit-ups, and crunches yesterday and my arms are sore. The diet isn't that bad. I mean, you saw the chicken and vegetables that we had. It's not like we're just doing chicken and broccoli. We're putting an assortment of vegetables. We're gonna switch it up day by day, but we gotta keep the momentum going. It's day two. We're gonna do our 30 minutes workout and keep the motivation going. On day two, I had a lot of trouble motivating myself to start this workout. When my muscles are sore, I really just wanna lay around all day. Fortunately, we were doing this challenge together and Phil was still pumped for day two. We did our 10 minutes of strength exercises along with the 20 minute run, which was about 3.1 kilometers. <sighs> Tired. All right, we just finished day two workout and uh, I thought yesterday was a struggle, today was a way bigger struggle for me, yeah. even though it's just a little workout, but I noticed uh, how much out of shape I am. Yeah, ish uh, Today honestly wasn't as bad once I warmed up, yeah. but I was definitely slower. My knees are killing me, but it's fine. We're just a small through. workout, it's good that we started with a small workout. We're gonna push through that. Do you think like 30 minutes a day shouldn't be that bad? Yeah. We can do that. Yes. All right, so we're doing lunch for day two. And um, again, we have a chicken breast here, a lot of that. This time we had some uh, sweet potato and pumpkin with uh, black beans and chickpeas. Mm -hmm. And these are leftovers from yesterday. I'm craving everything that's in the fridge, but I'm not allowed to eat that. I snacked on some pickles though. I had a couple oh, of pickles. Oh, did like you? Pickles. Yeah. 
There are these chocolate muffins in there that I want. Okay. Yeah, it smells so good. Mmm. We have our master chef. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of chicken breast and a lot of veggies. That's the plan. And the important part is no sugar. No sugar. No sugar. I think I'm but my body crazy. I think by the end of the week I'll probably want one of those rotisserie chickens just to get some like oh, yeah. dark meat in there. Second lunch, day two. It's been draining already. Uh, I'm surprised how out of shape we are. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're gonna stick to chicken breast so far. Yesterday we had the two meals that you saw with the green stuff. Today we have some leftovers from that, but we also did some pumpkins with beans and yeah. sweet potatoes. We're trying to stay away from the big carbs. The rice, no rice, no pasta, no potatoes. These yeah. are just a couple of sweet potatoes. In there. I mean, they're vegetables. We're just trying to stick away from the, the sugar and the bread that we've been eating here. Exactly. Yeah. So we're not trying to go keto or anything, but it's definitely low carb. Mm -hmm. um, but what we didn't like about keto is, is that you have to be very aware what veggies you eat. So we're not doing that. We're eating yeah. all the veggies. So we're definitely above the keto level, mm -hmm. but low carb and uh, getting our carbs from carrots and uh, beans and all of that and good the potatoes. stuff. potatoes. It's really good. We had this meal for both lunch and dinner. We had full larger plate portions for both meals. We like to make one big meal at lunch and eat it twice a day so we don't have to cook multiple times throughout the day. We also use mustard as a sauce since there isn't any added sugars like there is in some ketchups and hot sauces. It's day three lunchtime and we're starting out right here because we're postponing our workout today to the afternoon or after lunch at least because we're kind of tired and we want to eat first and hopefully that energizes us i'm so hungry i'm actually getting a little bit of hunger pains we're eating plenty of food we're getting enough calories in but i'm still so hungry we're snacking on some pickles we're gonna do an asian style today so good it's gonna be like stir fry style mm. we're supposed to get a bite <laughs> she ate my last pickle it was the last pickle check it no more pickles Carrots, uh, what are these called? Spring onions. Spring onions, green beans, mushrooms, carrots, cabbage, onions, zucchini. What happened? The onions, the onions hurt me. Gave it to them nicely though. <laughs> we made this meal for both lunch and dinner. The only difference between the two meals was that we added eggs and half an avocado to each of our plate for dinner. Phil had three eggs while I had one egg. The hope was that the healthy fats would fill us up so I wouldn't have any more hunger pains. All right, it's afternoon already, day three, and we're doing the workout now. I'm actually not gonna run because my knees are in a lot of pain. So I'm just gonna do some body weight workout here for 30 minutes in the garden. What about you? I don't know, I was motivated to run, but now I'm not. Just go, this run. Nice. run. No! So here's proof that Phil actually worked out while I was running. He did a 30 minute cardio strength session while I ran the 3.1 kilometer loop. We both talked about how it was easier to work out today after we started moving, especially in comparison to the previous days. We were both slightly sore, but not in too much pain. I didn't have any bad hunger pains like I did the prior day, so the healthy fat seemed to work. How are you feeling? Well, it's day four and uh, I feel very bad right now. This is my low point right now. I feel like my system is crashing. I'm shaky, I have weak legs and everything. I don't know what it is. Just the sugar withdrawal. We were out for the morning and I really had to lie down right now. I was close to passing out. I don't know how food related it is. But yeah, right now I feel like total crap. He has a Diet Coke right there. There's no sugar. I do not advise this because I don't like that he drinks Diet Coke. She doesn't like Diet Coke. You'll feel better. I'll do the cooking. You rest. All right, so I cut up the veggies and then we just got some chicken, rotisserie chicken in here. We've got two, one for lunch and one for dinner. We finally got that rotisserie chicken. Having this chicken already cooked made this meal easier and faster to make. I just chopped some veggies and stir fried them in coconut oil with our standard spice combination. You could easily make this meal vegetarian by excluding the chicken and adding an alternative protein. It's the afternoon. Well, it's more like the evening, but I'm going to run at least. And hopefully the running motivates me to do some like push-ups and sit-ups. What are you doing? I think I got sick. 
and I feel extremely drained. So I'm gonna stay in today, skip my workout, but I will do double tomorrow because I don't wanna cheat and I will, if I feel better tomorrow, I'll just do double the workout so I have my seven days of at least half an hour. Maybe I'll do an hour tomorrow too, <laughs> who knows? I'm gonna be ripping. I'm already in my comfy clothes. Uh... Yeah, he's ready for bed. I'm gonna go run and then I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Oh, I just got back from the run and I'm pretty tired. Hopefully tomorrow's a little better. I'm glad I'm doing this. It's it's hard to push through come like day four and five. I think like the midway point's gonna be the hardest. But for me, it's just to eat less sugar, to like flush out my desire to eat cake all the time because I know that's not healthy and that's the goal. We gotta stick with this, gotta stick with it. We have chicken, asparagus. We're gonna skip the rice, but do spinach, other goodies. Alright, so it's day five and we already had lunch and it's time for the workout. I feel a little better than yesterday, so I still have to do double workout because yes. I skipped yesterday. So I'm going to do a fitness program, which is exactly one hour. Yeah, it's like hit. I'm gonna run. And? And then do my little ab things. Horrible cravings right now. Like I want every sweet thing in the book. This is like the worst week for us. Everyone's offering us cake and desserts. And <laughs> I'm afraid I will just eat everything once we stop, but we need to keep this going. Well, food wise, I feel pretty fine. We had uh, chicken again for lunch with asparagus. Yeah, I want cake. That's good. Have fun. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh. On day five, Phil did an hour of HIT exercises, including some weights. I completed my 20 minute run and it took me a while to finally complete the 10 minutes of stretches and floor exercises. All right, so we are going to Phil's sister's house and they have a lot of meat. We're bringing our veggies. Look at us, just canned peas and carrots. The supermarkets are closed, so we can't get anything fresh today. Whenever the supermarkets are closed, I feel like I'm gonna starve for 24 hours. But every I'm, Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday in Germany. Yeah. That's why everybody runs into the markets on Saturday to get all that shit. And then Monday it's super busy because everyone ate everything in their pantry. They're starving. <laughs> We're all starving. We had dinner with the family and we avoided the pasta even though it was super tempting. We loaded up on green beans, peas, and carrots. The meat was pork instead of chicken. We normally don't eat too much pork in our daily diet, but this juicy, meaty goodness was too hard to resist. The supermarket is open! We went and got some fresh veggies and we're gonna have our veggie chicken goodness. Got some peppers, knoblau, aka garlic, cause we're keeping the vampires away. Onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, lettuce, and a lot of chicken. What's on your shirt? What? What's on it? Well, a lot of stains. Yeah, it's my cooking shirt. <laughs> this meal was more of a naked burrito style meal. We cooked the chicken in the usual spices and added a lot of tomatoes, lettuce, and herbs to lighten the meal. We often make this meal, except we usually wrap it in a big fat tortilla. However, for this challenge, we were trying to avoid the additional carbs and sugar. Day six, we had lunch. It's already late again. I'm gonna do a workout now. I'm gonna join you running today. Yay! We're running first. Let's do it! Sounds good, let's run. Yeah. Right, day six, run completed. Yeah. How was it? Today was pushing it. I was a little stressed, <laughs> but I got all my anger out with this run. Yeah, how much? What's the time? 3.1 kilometers in 1650, so huh. a little under 530 per kilometer. Yeah, well, it was, that was better than in the beginning. Yeah, so yeah. made a little progress. I felt pretty good okay. Yeah. I didn't run for two days, but I worked out yesterday and I felt okay with the run. Same, I felt like I was doing 80 to 90 percent. It feels like we're making progress and uh, yeah. I feel healthier just from just from not working out, doing something, moving yeah, regularly. I no wheat cravings today, surprisingly. Because you got meat. Oh yeah, my little sweetie. <laughs> that was cheesy. But oh, yeah. Sweaty. <laughs> feel better. Yeah. Final day! Day seven! Yay! Everyone keeps tempting us with Kuhan and all this like these sweet things, yeah. but no, it's not good. It's becoming a little repetitive. We're making the same food basically again, the cabbage version, what Diana does very well. And chicken. Chicken is still over here. I'm gonna cut that in a minute and stir fry it. I feel pretty good energy-wise. I'm feeling better than in the beginning and I think it's a regular exercise. I think it's just cutting out the sugar for me. Yeah. 
Right. And move it. Gotta cook and eat. It's the evening and we still have to work out. It's already 7 p.m. Starting to get tired because our bedtime is approaching, but we still have to do it, right? Yes, we gotta do it. I'll just hold on to this and you run ahead. Quick strength exercises and then quick run. Finally, day seven and no motivation was needed today since we were excited that we almost completed this challenge. We decided to run through some fields where we had a scenic view and lots of spectators cheering us on. We felt a lot better compared to day one, and dare I say we might have actually enjoyed this run. Just finished our last run! Yay! It's not gonna be our last one ever because we're gonna continue working out. We're gonna have our last chicken meal, and my goal is to maybe train for like a 5K or something because I wanna keep the running going. Yes, yes, do yes, it. Yes. We, we do a Tough Mudder in the States. Oh, that's a good them? idea. It'll be good. I'm already spot. Last chicken meal. Last supper. How many calories do you think is in there? It's like a pretty huge portion. I'm thinking like 700, 800? Uh, per plate, I think. Per plate? Maybe 600. I'll probably have a second one. I think with what we're eating, as I said before, it's not no carb. It's mm -hmm. potentially low carb, but there are definitely some carbs in there. We're just being conscious to eat healthy. If we didn't have this challenge, I don't know if I would have worked out every single day. Exactly. By the end, I didn't really mind it at all. Yeah. In the end, this was not about a crazy body transformation. This should be just a little incentive to maybe get something started and show how easy it is in seven days to already see some small results, but also mainly talk about how we feel. The first two days were probably the hardest struggling for me food-wise. Now, this stuff is awesome. This tastes amazing. I can eat it every day and I'm not craving yeah. ice cream or sweets that much. I didn't yeah. have the cravings for the last two days. Well, I had cravings a few days ago, but I noticed they were not as bad today and I think that was the point of this. The bottom line is it's fine to have a candy once in a while, it's fine to eat potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, that's all fine. Permanently, I want to Definitely cut down a little bit on the white bread, the white flour, and definitely the sugar. We struggle a lot, but we're gonna keep this going and be healthy. Yeah. We're having this last meal, and then we'll see you in the morning for, for our weigh in. The weigh ins. Ooh. Ready for the weigh in? Yes, let's, let's do that. Let's go. Way. You're touching me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, 83.5? Yeah. Wow. Way in time. Way in time. Girl's turn. Okay. Sixty-six flat. Yeah. That's percentage-wise probably more than me. Really? Yeah. A dramatic body transformation wasn't our top priority for this challenge. We really just use weight and BMI as one of the methods of measuring progress, along with how we felt, and for me personally, breakouts. Mm -hmm. All right, I wanted to do an update on my face and see if the eating has helped my acne or anything. My acne in general has gone down a bit, like I still have a little like some blemishes and scars and stuff, but really no new ones. I have like one new one there. For me, I know my diet really affects my, my skin. And if I have any sugar and any dairy, my skin are just like kind of blows up. I think eating healthy for this past week has really helped it. We're gonna keep up the good diet. So our biggest takeaway is that eating healthy and exercising for 30 minutes a day isn't that hard. And it's gonna be our goal to at least keep this up and to keep the kuchen down. <laughs> It makes you feel so much better when you eat healthier. I was yeah, in a slump that's, before this. That's the biggest point. Yeah. We feel much better, so we should keep this going. If you like this kind of video, this is new for us, please give us a thumbs up. Give us some feedback in the comments below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Naturally, we immediately ate some cake in celebration of completing this challenge. However, two weeks later, we've still consumed way less sugar than before starting the challenge. We've done a good job of staying active and we really feel a difference in energy and productivity based on our diets, so we wanna keep it up. Let us know your diet experiences in the comments below.